Hey math kids, today we're going to talk about solving other equations, or sorry, solving uh, polynomial equations using technology. And we are in section 4e in your book, and we're just going to do example 14, which has two parts. So um, we're just going to learn how to solve for x whoops, using technology. And these are the two equations that they give us. Okay, so we're going to approach these both very similar. Um, let's see, I'll bring this onto the screen a little bit better, like that. So this is a TI 84. Um, this will show how to do it on a TI 83 or 84. They work basically the same way. Um, so the first thing is you hit this y equals button right here and then you type in your equation. So this button right here, the x, t, theta, n, that's how you type in an x. And then we have this uh, caret button to get um, an exponent. And then the rest I think is self-explanatory. Now, I'm just going to type in each side of the equation as a separate, equa as a separate um, equation on here. So notice how I have 2x squared plus 4x, and then I have just 7. Now I'm going to graph. And all I need to do is check where they cross. And so um, to do that, I want to go to this calc menu right here. So I say second calc and I want to find an intersection. Now it's asking for the first curve right here so I can click anywhere on the parabola. So I just hit enter. I can click anywhere on this line, enter. Now because it crosses two places, this part's important, we want to put the cursor where we think that first intersection is. And so I hit enter, it's a guess. And I'm going to write that down. So it's negative 3.12 is the first value of x that we get. And now we go through the same process. So we go second, calc, go down to intersection. Um, it just asks for the first curve, so click anywhere on the parabola anywhere on the line. This time though I'm going to guess closer to the other intersection. Hit enter and it tells me it's 1.12. And those are the two values that would that we could plug in for x to make this true. If we did the quadratic formula and then turned our answer into a decimal it would give us the same answer. Okay let's move on to this next one. So I'll move this over here now. So we're going to go through the same process. So we want to graph, so we can hit graph, we can hit y equals, clear everything that's on there. And then I'm going to type in the left side, so x raised to the 3 plus 4x raised to the 2. Then I go to the next, uh, next line and type in the other side of the equation, 6 minus x go to graph alright so it looks like it crosses three different places so we're gonna have to go second calc intersect and since we only have two curves on there we can just go enter enter because we know it's gonna get both of them and I'm actually gonna start whoops I don't know what just happened alright let's try that again so we're going to go intersect, first curve, second curve, and then my guess is right there. It thinks for a little bit, and it says the intersection, the x value is negative 3. Okay, go through the same process, second calc. Uh, a shortcut, we can just hit 5, and it'll go to the intersect. Um, so 
first curve, second curve, then I'm going to guess, and it's negative 2. And we have one more intersection. So we go second, calc, 5. Okay, first curve, second curve, and then try to click it right on where it intersects and we get one. All right. So, uh, that's all we have on this video. If you have a, if you need additional help, come to Math Lab and for now, calculator